So what we want to do is review how we're going to manage a potential pediatric SARS-CoV-2 virus infected or a COVID-19 patient. And the, obviously, this is, has to do with ventilation and airway management. Uh, we're going to review the bag valve mask options here, and our respiratory therapist is going to help me a little bit. So, Lark, show me how you would improve our system to prevent infections on the healthcare providers. Well, so that we're filtering um, the air on inspiration and expiration, you can take uh, a bacteria filter, viral filter, and you can put it in between your uh, manual resuscitator and either your uh, bag valve mask. And how good is that filter? This filter here that we're using is 99.999% okay, on sounds... virus and on bacteria. Okay. So, so as you're, so this is a pediatric bag, and as we know with the pediatric bag, airflow doesn't happen naturally unless the patient has some respiratory effort that they can overcome the valve. But uh, air, because of this uh, exhaust tube, you can even crank up the oxygen on the wall to like max, and it, it still will not flow to the patient. Uh, unlike the adult bag that actually has a reservoir bag that pushes some of the air out towards the patient. Basically then what you have to do is you have to bag a little bit. You have to move gently bag. Right. We have um, to create some type of flow to the patient. And so usually we will just gently squeeze, keeping a light seal over the, mat, uh, over the patient. Yeah. And that creates that flow. For right. the patient to hyper oxygen. And what's, what's going on with the peat valve? Without the peat valve, there is a possibility that air can be pulled back in through the exhalation port. It wouldn't be a whole lot, but there's still that possibility. By adding the peat valve there, even set at zero, this will create you a one way valve effect so that there's no air or gas uh, in being entrained from the room. So the truth is, though, as long as you have that filter there, you have this filter, you don't really need a filter on, on there. Right. And Probably. we had that discussed was... that by putting it in this position, you're filtering inspiratory and expiratory uh, gas. Now, if we moved the filter to the exhalation side, you would just filter uh, what's being expired from the patient. Okay. So, you've got the patient intubated and you do want to do your bag, you want to continue bagging the patient. So what's the story here now? So then we would remove our bag, our mask, resuscitation mask. We would hook our filter directly to the ET tube and then you would continue uh, manually filling the yeah. that way. Okay, so now, every, it, everybody's dressed out in the PPE and, um, and you want to limit the amount of time that you have the patient's ET tube open to the surrounding air. All right, so now we're, we want to hook the uh, patient up to the ventilator. So, so tell me exactly what you're going to do next well, here. And before we leave this, the one thing that I would point out to be aware of and to be cautious of is if you had a patient who had a lot of secretions, you know, a lot of times when you intubate a patient, you start getting secretions coming back up the ET tube, or if trauma's involved, you may have blood. Um, you don't want those type of secretions to be entering the filter um, because that would then create an obstructive effect. So you're always going to have to watch that filter and make sure it doesn't become an occlusive. Oh, well, that's a great pearl. That's a great point. So if that thing gets wet, then it's going to interfere with uh, airflow. Correct. Yeah. It might make it less effective. Who knows? Exactly. Okay, so now show me uh, so we're what we're going to do with the with ventilator. our filtered ambu bag. Uh, we would immediately switch to our vent, and as you see, you could put your filter here at the Y between the ventilator and the patient. However, you still have to worry about that sec the secretions and all that. So ideally, what we like to do is move the filter towards the vent. Uh, you can filter the inspiratory side. And then a lot of times you'll see we will double filter the exhalation side prior to the exhalation valve, and that way it protects the transducers in your exhalation valve. Oh, so you double filter. Interesting. So, so explain to me again, explain to me why you would put a double filter on there? Well, one of the reasons we like to double filter is these patients normally may have 
medications aerosolized in the ventilator circuit. Plus, normally in an ICU setting, you have a heater and humidifier on the inspiratory side, so you've got water and humidity. Over time, these filters will get, uh, there will be condensation built up. Um, so this gives you greater protection for your exhalation valve and a lot of times what you'll do is you'll see us, we will rotate, we'll throw the one closest to the patient away and then move this one forward and then we'll replace it with a brand new one and put it on the back. And usually we'll change these out about every two to three hours. So tell me then, I want to, I want to do some nebulization with some albuterol. Where, where, where are you going to put your, uh, where are you going to put your uh, albuterol? Well, system? normally at our hospital, our facility, we will use the Aerogen Neb with our ventilator patients, and so usually on the inspiratory side, just past the humidifier, will be your ultra, your uh, Aerogen Neb, and then it will charge, or or uh, your aerosolized particle will be on the inspiratory circuit going to the patient. Okay. Okay. And in case of using the MBIs, we would have we would have a ventilator spacer that would go here in between the ventilator Y and the ET tube, and you would actuate your MDI and deliver it to your patient. Okay. So if we're if we're transporting a patient out of the ED that's been intubated, you generally at least our at our place we don't set them up with on the ventilator. Right. And so basically, what you would do, you would just kind of continue. We would just continue using our filtered manual resistor. Okay.